What's going on guys? It's Silver Zero Breaks here. And we're back with another box break. And today we got a new release and that's the 2020-2021 Upper Deck Artifacts Hobby Box. Uh, I managed to pick this one up at a pre-order price at about 92 American dollars. It has since gone up uh, as I'm filming this video. It is selling for about 149 USD. At a lot of Canadian retailers, it's selling for about 179, 189 um, Canadian. So the price of this has gone up quite significantly. So it goes to show that even hockey cards are not immune to the crazy hobby boom that's going on right now. And unfortunately, it seems like it's pricing a lot of people out of the hobby, um, whereas you know certain others are profiting quite a bit. So I'm not gonna go you know, too much into it because it's gonna sound rather negative. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still looking forward to the release here, but uh, in terms of future new release products, I'm not sure if I can keep up with it ongoing. Um, I did pre-order a few stuff, um, but beyond that point, I'm not sure if it will be a sustainable um, thing for the channel. But anyway, um, before I begin, there are some artifacts related um, Future cards in the background, including a autograph of Sam Steele, a rookie autograph of Sam Steele. There is the rookie emerald uh, jersey patch of Max Jones. And lastly, there is the uh, dual jersey of John Gibson. So some nice artifacts cards. I always like the product. Um, I, I, I thought their cards generally look pretty nice. I think a lot of haters for artifacts tend to find that the Aurum uh, bounty card tends to take away from a potential hit of the box, which is true. Uh, it does kind of suck. But uh, this year, there's been a slight change. There is a chance at getting an Orm signature. So even an Orm card can have an autograph on it. Um, so that's a nice change. And another benefit of this year's product is that there are some um, on-card signature car uh, stuff as well. So there's a chance at getting some non-stickered autos. I'm not sure if I'll be lucky enough to do that, but we shall see. In a case distribution, there are 10 boxes that have Orums and 10 boxes with signatures. So autos should come one in every two boxes. So it's not guaranteed in here, but uh, in a pack or in a box of artifacts, there should be three hits. They're either a memorabilia, Orum or autograph card. And it does say on average. And it's pretty smart for Upper Deck to do that because there has been some distribution issues this year from all the breaks that I've watched. There's some boxes that have six hits, and then there's other boxes that have no hits whatsoever. So uh, hopefully there'll be something nice in here. It feels kind of heavy, so it's looking somewhat promising, but we shall see what's in here. Uh, there are four cards per pack with eight packs per box, giving a grand total of 32 cards. And there should be one rookie redemption in here as well. Um, but uh, another interesting card to look for in this year's set is the Arena Artifact, which is numbered to 31, and that features a relic from Maple Leaf Gardens. So that is something to watch for. Uh, if there's any Leaf fans, I'm sure that is a card to uh, hunt for. But anyway, uh, if you guys want to have a look at the odds, they are back here. There are some parallel heavy sets in here, but uh, yeah, let the uh, break begin. So uh, I'll just carefully cut this open and then remove the wrapping and then we shall begin with artifacts. I'm excited about this product because um, I'm curious to see what sort of jerseys I can get. Uh, it's not a ducks heavy set so it's not much I can collect in terms of the ducks but uh, there's always a chance at a Alexi Lafreniere rookie card. But anyway. Let's see how things go. The packs aren't too easy to open, but uh, there we go. Pack number one, and looks like we've got to decoin this. And that this is the look at this year's base card. I quite like the design. It looks pretty nice. Um, and we start off with Tom Wilson. And if I gave this to Great Day for Hockey Cards, I'll just chuck it across the room. But uh, there we go. Tom Wilson Artifacts base card. So it looks pretty nice, a few years of stats, and I do like the design on here, so there we go. Uh, and then we have Freddie Anderson, and we have a parallel of uh, Eric Carlson, number to 299. So there we go, Eric Carlson, 
of the Sharks. Okay, decoy. And we have Rick Rack Attack to finish off that pack. On to pack number two. And it looks like there's a thick card, so that is nice. At least I'm not gonna go into a box with no hits whatsoever. Uh, we do have Braden Shin, Dominic Kubalik, who started off the season rather cold until that most recent game, which is fine because I have him in my hockey pool. We got Gino Malkin, and then, oh, wow. That's a beauty right there. And of course, as a Ducks fan, I don't know why, but the LA Kings just love to follow me around. It's like the ultimate troll job, but check out those patches. So um, you got the Tundra teammate quads of Anze Kopitar, Jonathan Quick, Drew Doughty, and Jeff Carter. And that looks amazing. And it's number two out of 10. Look at that. Oh, if only I had the luck with the Ducks cards, but uh, the LA Kings seem to follow me around. I know they're a rival team, but uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's a beautiful card right there. And it's only numbered to 10. That's pretty sweet. And it looks like I got another thick card in this one, so that's the second hit of this box. And of course, decoy. Oh, that line is somewhere funny. Anyway, we got Rasmus Adalin. We got Max Domi, who's currently with the Blue Jackets. Oh, I got an Orum. And I got an Orum of David Pasternak. Darn it, that takes away from one of my hits. So that's for the Bouncy Program, and uh, I think those who finish that Bouncy Program early can get one of those dual signature cards. I think it was the one with Makar and uh, Quinn Hughes, if I remember correctly, but uh, there we go. Artifacts, Orum of David Pasternak. It doesn't look like it's cut very nicely. There seems to be a bit of a scruff across the side of the card, so that's disappointing. I didn't want an Orum card. I want an autograph. <laughs> All right. Anyway, on to the next pack. We got Jack Hughes and a rookie. Artifacts Rookie of Martin Kaut, numbered 70 of 999. So there we go, Martin Kaut of the Colorado Avalanche. If this is like a Series 1 box, it'll be paired with Alexi Lafreniere. <laughs> That'll be nice. <laughs> Alright, we got JG Pajot, and we finish things off with Jakob Silverberg. So that's pretty cool, I got two of the Ducks base cards in this box, so that's alright. Can't complain. On to the next one, and we have Anthony Mantha, Sean Monahan, and a rookie redemption of the Montreal Canadiens. That's pretty good. Lots of promising prospects. There are no checklists for the actual redemption cards just yet, so I think they won't release that for a few months. So it'll be we'll be waiting uh, for the time being. So we don't know who it will be, who who it will be. Um, but off the top of my head, I'm thinking it might be Jake Evans, or uh, if I'm lucky, Romanoff would be nice too. So there we go, a uh, rookie redemption of the Montreal Canadiens. And we have Tuka Rast to finish off that pack. All right, still got three more to go. Pretty decent break so far, and looks like there's another sort of thick card in here. So that will be the third hit of this box, and that's a decoy. That landed on something else. And we have Tony D'Angelo, who's barely even playing this season. Um, Tivo Teravainen. And then we got a Artifacts Remnants of Rasmus Adalin. And that's a nice little yellow jersey right there. And uh, there we go, Rasmus Adalin. Let's have a look here. It is game used, so that's pretty good. And I quite like the look of this card. Quite nice. There we go. Rasmus Adalin. Second to last pack. So I got my three hits. So I, I'm thinking I won't be getting anything too substantial beyond this point. We got uh, Alex Debrinkat, Simeon Varlamov, who's playing very well to start off the season. We got Dominic Hasek, numbered to 399. So that's the Ruby parallel. There we go. The Dominator. And that's very fitting with 
the Detroit Red Wings in the ruby color, so I like that. And Miko Koskinen, who's kind of struggling in that. <laughs> anyway, now onto the last pack, hoping for something nice, but I did sort of get my three hits, so I'm not expecting anything major out of here. So we have Carter Hart, and uh, oh, that's a very low numbered hit right there. So uh, that's the, is that pink? Big parallel? Or I don't, I don't even know what uh, that would be. So it's actually numbered six of 30 for Henrik Zetterberg. So that's another legend right there. Henrik Zetterberg. So some Red Wings mojo going on in here. Got another decoy. We got Tristan Jari and Peter Mrazek, who happens to be a former Red Wing. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the artifacts box. I mean, it's okay. Didn't get an auto out of here. So a little disappointing, but at the same time, the hits were okay. Um, wasn't too pleased with an Orem card. I wish it was an Orem signature, but you know, that that's the way it goes. In terms of the parallels, we did get the Henrik Zetterberg, Tom McCassick, and Eric Carlson. Uh, there was an Artifacts Rookie of Martin Kaut. And of course the Montreal Canadiens Rookie Redemption, which I'm looking forward to seeing who that would be. Uh, yeah, the most dreaded Orem card, so no auto for me today. And a very nice NHL Remnants of Rasmus Dahlin. But the hit of this box just happens to be from the rival team. We got the Tundra Teammates Quads uh, of the LA Kings. And yes, that is numbered 2 out of 10. So overall, not a bad box, but if I was to purchase it at the current price it's selling for, I'd say it's not worth it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of this box in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I, I don't know really <laughs> what to say. Uh, sort of happy, sort of disappointed. I don't really, it's sort of a mixed feeling right now. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you guys are all doing well and you're staying safe out there and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, take care everyone. Bye.